Dr. Jang's Play Math. Hello, my Play Math friends. It's Dr. Jang. I'm so happy you came to see me. Today, I'm going to introduce a traditional Korean board game, Yunnuri. Yunnuri is especially popular during the New Year, but it can be played anytime. In this video, we're going to make our own Yunnuri set and play the game. To play Yunnuri, you need only a few items. Yud sticks, which are curved on one side and flat on another side. A board and markers. Prepare craft sticks, a piece of paper and markers, an object that you can use as markers such as coins and buttons. First, decorate one side of all craft sticks to represent the curved side. And then, take a piece of paper and draw a big square on it, and the X in the middle of the square. Draw circles on every corner of the square and on the center of the X. Draw four more circles on each side of the square. As well as on each line of the X. Make one of the circles in the corner as a starting point. If you land on the corners, you can travel to two directions. Now we are all set and ready to play the game. The game is played between two partners or two teams who play in turns. There is no limit to the number of players. The object for each team is to get as four markers to end past the finish line, which is also the starting line. The start of the game is determined by each team casting the youth sticks. The team with the highest score starts first. Each team then casts the sticks in turn and moves a marker according to the score achieved. If the sticks fall with one flat side up, you advance one space. We call this combination to, which means a peak. If two flat sides are up, you advance two spaces. We call this combination ke, which means a dog. If three flat sides are up, you advance three spaces. It is kol, which means a sheep. If four flat sides are up, you advance four spaces. We call this yut, which means a cow. If four curved sides land face up, you advance five spaces. This combination is called mo, which means a horse. If you got all flat or all curved sides face up, you can earn an extra cast for the turn. If you cast yut or mo at the second cast, you earn an extra cast again. So basically, there is no limit to the number of times a player can cast again before the end of a turn, provided he or she keeps casting youths or moes. A team can either put a new marker onto the board according to the scores it got, or move a marker already on the board. The markers travel around the board and can move forward only. However, when landing on one of the big stations in the corner and the center, the team can choose to take the shorter way. There are four possible courses. The default course is number 4, which is the longest one with no abbreviation. If a marker lands on a station occupied by the opponent's team, 
the opponent's marker is removed from the course and returned to the starting point, and the current player is allowed to cast again. This is the most funny part. If a marker lands on a station occupied by the own team, these markers can form a group and travel together from the point on. The respective scores can be played separately if wished. That is, each can be given to another marker. But a score earned from one cast cannot be split into two moves. For example, call, advance three steps, cannot be split into to, one step, and ke, two steps. Thank you for watching PlayMath. Enjoy Yunnuri with your own handmade Yunnuri set. To see more math games, subscribe to this channel. See you next time!